Hey guys, welcome back to the Neckbeard Game Devs Full Stack Django Python Heroku tutorial geared towards game devs. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to be changing up the PHP contact form into a Django model form. So our form action now is going to the PHP file, and we're going to have to change all that up. Let's take a look at this PHP file. You can see that it accesses some PHP email form in our vendor folder. Here's some of the database entry. If you didn't want to do this, you can purchase the fully working PHP contact form through the website but this way here we're just going to create a model for our form I like to create the model so that we can register it to the administration page and then we can see and edit any of these entries So we're going to start a new class. I'm just going to call it contact from here in the models. This is just basic Django stuff. So we're going to set these up as char fields. We're going to set this email up as the primary key for now, just so you can see how it works. If you've never dealt with making models or databases. So I'm just going to copy and paste these in. And change the fields. So on our contact form we have an email, a name, a subject, and a message. And we're just going to keep that all the same. And we're going to change the message length to 500 characters. And we have, I just want to define the string and we're going to return the name. Let's create a new Python file. We're going to call this forms. In this forms file, we're going to import our model and our forms. So 
So from this Django.forms, we're going to import the model form. And then from dot models, we're going to import our contact. So let's make our class. I'm just going to call it contact form. And we're going to call it, it, we have to make sure it knows that we want it to be a model form. So this class.meta, this is where you're going to set our fields, our name, email, subject, and message. So basically here we're just connecting the model to our contact model and here's our fields name email subject and message and then basically what we have to do here is we have to call the widget and that widget is a basically for bootstrap so if you look at the index html file and you'll see that we're we're already calling some of the bootstrap <coughs> features so we already have the bootstrap css in our project so basically here we're just going to tell the form tell Django that this form is going to use those attributes So right here, form control. So it knows that we're go going to be using the bootstrap CSS for this. And we just have to enclose this with curly braces. kind of the same thing just copy and paste and then we'll just change the string name you got your form group and your form control pretty simple stuff here just getting it set up once you see how it's all set up and you can see how we are embedding the form in into the HTML it's not its own web page it it's gonna mesh real nice you know I've searched all over the internet on the easiest way to do this and some people's ideas are so complex to get this to work for a simple contact form 
I think that's why some people stick with the PHP, to tell you the truth. But this, if you've done the forms before, models, forms, and model forms, you you probably already have an understanding how this works. So it shouldn't be that complex if you're not too familiar with HTML or working in the bootstrap environment. But... You know, you'll see it, it'll it'll mesh perfectly with the form. It'll look you can make it look exactly the same, no difference. So basically, now all we have to do is add this to our views. Since our index right now is not looking for the request dot post, we have to add all that information here um, and our form. So basically, if request.method equals post, then we have to do something. So we're going to have to grab our form. So from dot forms, let's import our contact form. So here I'm just going to have form equals contact form. So we're we're setting that request dot post. And this is where it's great. Django does everything for us. All that PHP code is null. Right here, we're just going to see if the form is valid. There's our item, our contact item. Now I think there's a few different ways you can do this, but this is how I learned how to save the form and I don't have any issues with my database. I, I'm I'm very happy with the way this works. You might have I've seen like how they have just the greeting dot save or the greeting equals greeting and then greeting dot save. That might work too, but this way I know works. And I've never had an issue with any of my database, my forms being uploaded, being saved properly. So the first is our if our request method equals post, and then if it if we haven't posted yet, this is what this else is for. Basically you're just going to set up the same thing here, but this time we're not looking for the request.post. Copy and paste this render request and basically all we have to add to it is the form that we're going to render the form.
So this gets us all set up. to render our index, index HTML and the new form, the Django form, not the PHP form. Let's just change these little errors. I'm, I'm so used to writing in C sharp. All right, so let's take a look at this index.html, and we're going to remove quite a bit of code here and add not too much, just, just the basic Django stuff here. Well, first, let's, um, let's register our model, and let's get that done. So go open up your admin.py. You want to import your contact model and then just basically register it here. And what this will do is it'll allow us to see it on our administration page for our website. We'll be able to see the contact. We'll be able to edit it. I mean, we could set up an index for the contact, so an, a page, and you can see them all at that point. But here, it's real simple also. Let's go ahead and run our server. open up a new window and we're gonna run the Python 3 manage.py make migrations we set up our database with the new form the new model same thing Python 3 manage.py and this time we're gonna migrate Let's go ahead and create our super user so we have access to our administrative page. Just set this up for whatever you wish. This is your actual website. You know you, you're going to want to set it up for more secure password and administrative uh, login. So there we go, we have zero contacts. So now we have to change the HTML. Open up your index.html, scroll down to the form, the contact form area. Basically here, we're just changing it up.
I got to call the form dot contact and then the method has to be a post. So here we have to add a few of our Django form class tokens. CSRF token. And then here we're going to check for field errors from the form. So without these two Django specific form tokens and form non field error code nothing in your form will work properly you'll you'll get an error that you know it's insecure so that's why you have to put it there it, it this is all on the Django website how to do this this is exactly how you need to set this up and you'll see it works like a stitch. So I just d deleted some of the um, other code there. Possibly we could have used some of that, but from I, I tried this one other way, and this way just stitched so nice. So this is how I'm going to set it up. I was really happy with the outcome. So here we're checking for the name errors. And then down here we're just going to be looking for the form.name. Right? So just copy this, paste it down the line, change your string info. Pretty simple here. All right, so that should set us all up. Let's take a look at our form. That looks good. Take one more look at what we got going on here. Everything looks in place. I'm going to open up a new private window. Let's go to our contact. Oh, here. If you have all of your hrefs wrapped on all your codes, you'll see how responsive and how nice this whole website works. But let's go ahead and scroll down to our contact. Just going to put a little test in here.
All right, hit send message. Looks like I've got something here. Take a look. All right, right here, this dollar sign has to be changed to the percent sign. There goes our server, backups and running. Let's hit our admin. Let's look at our contacts. Boom, there's our test contact. Hello, Django. All right, guys, we got that all set up. Next, we'll start working on the actual back end for Big King Frog, the game, and show you how to create a global scoreboard and a login, all kinds of different uh, stats we'll send back and forth. But hope you're having a great day. Hope you're healthy, and uh, we'll see you next time. Neckbeard out.